So I recently went to a store that is closing soon. It's been around forever, a staple in Salem. It's Cook Stationery. And I grabbed some supplies from them. So this is a Jelly Roll 08 white pen. Excited to play around with this. And I also picked up a couple color pencils. I haven't done color pencils in forever. The white. And then this one is goldenrod. And then I got terracotta. And I'm just going to sharpen these guys now. Almost there. Here we go. So that one's made in Mexico. This one's made in the US. Okay, I went and got a new little mini um, palette with tins at my local art store in Salem, which is called the Art Department. So I got this guy for $20, and it comes with all these little pans. Take some out. I take them out by uh, pushing that apart. And you can take the whole thing out too, I realize. 
check that out. So I'm just moving a little metal back a little bit to release all these pans. And I'm going to start putting some gouache in these. So these are colors that I already have by Horodom Gouache. Of these colors, I already have in my Stay Wet palette. And I wanted to play around with them in a normal type of palette. And just let the paints dry out and see how they do. These are this one, Payne's Gray, and Pyro Red are M Gram gouache. So I'm just going to start adding these to my pads. Why are you focusing right there?
Okay, since I'm using two different brands, I am going to put M Gram on one side and my Horodom gouache by Schmika on the other side. So, this is the Titanium White by Horodom. And then we're going to do, let's do the Lemon Yellow. And then we have the Titanium Gold Ochre. And then we will add the Burnt Sienna. Push these in. And then I'm going to add the Delft, Delft Blue and then the um, Helio Turquoise. Those are pretty secure. And then on this side is M Gram. So this is the zinc white. And then I'm going to add the um, Azo yellow, Azo, Azo, Azo. And then I have the Pyrrol red, which I've had for a while now. And then I'm going to add in my blue which is cobalt blue, and then Payne's gray, and then my ivory black. Press these in. So I'm just gonna put this in a warm place for now and let them dry. And then see how this works once I go through and um, have them dried out, see how they um, rehydrate and everything. So this is all M. Graham colors, and this is all my Horodom gouache by um, Schmika. These guys. Schmika. Horodom gouache. Okay, let's check them out later. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to see me paint with these, um, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Every day in April, I'm planning on painting, and I'm going to ideally probably paint with these and just play around with them. I have a sketchbook that I got just for this challenge. It's the Plain Air April. So I grabbed this inexpensive little sketchbook from my local craft store, and it is not 100% cotton. And so I find these sketchbooks work really well for gouache. And it's got the cold press texture, which I love. And I'm excited to start using this. And it opens up really nice. So I'm going to utilize this sketchbook and these paints for the plein air um, challenge of painting every day in April. So going outside, setting up, painting, I'll use this little sketchbook and these paints and I'll just, you know, see how it goes. And my plan is to share a video every day of me out painting. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of when my videos are up and ready to watch. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting friend.